I don't really want it to have that on my dash, so I'm gonna put nicht active. Okay, guys, sorry for the sound quality. We got our messages in the dash. Uh, I'm gonna be running the car through the test. If you wanna see some info, how to install and all the stuff, the, the apps, how to use them, just check it out the other videos. In that video, I'll be showing you exact procedure what we're gonna need to do. So we're connecting our cable, we go into the in part. Okay, so the first menu is cable detector. Yes, ignition is on. The car is running, we're not gonna harm anything. We're just uh, simply gonna need to shut down some system. Basically turn off the messages uh, from the dash, which is gonna be the FRM unit to the NCS expert tool. The first input tool shown us the connection between computer and the actual uh, car. So the next we have to download some data from the module. First we go to the file, load the profile. Um, then go to the start or F1, enter ZCS. We go to the body. If it's E90, the closest one is E89, uh, which is covers the E90, 91, 92, 93. Then we go to the chassis. We go to the CAS, car access system. Uh, then we go back or press F6. And we go to process ECU. Do not process the car because it's gonna start uh, reading all these modules. My car has a lot of modules. It's gonna start downloading all the data. We're not gonna need that. Most likely you're gonna mess up something and it's really long procedure. If it's gonna start copying the actual files, your car might gonna shut down. Then you, uh, if you, your battery is not in a good shape, it's gonna drives your battery, gonna mess up some modules and whatever. So we gotta go to the process ECU and we choose uh, which ECU we're gonna be working with. It's apparently gonna be the FRM module and FRM module, sorry. And FRM, FRM, uh, okay. And we press okay. Then we got uh, our win number and job name SG Codier. We're not gonna need uh, the code yet, so we simply read the ECU, which is F4, and we're waiting for connection. Coding active, so we just have to wait till it's gonna download all the data. So we got trace file, which is the metadata. This file showing us all the options in a in a code. So this is the all all types of options. Uh, I will show you how to read this stuff. Uh, actually, I have it in a different video, so you can check it out. But trace file, you're gonna save it. Then we minimize the actual window NCS expert and go to the BMW tools and open the NCS dummy. NCS dummy, it's really nice tool. It's gonna help us uh, to work with uh, either the metadata trace file, either with uh, other types of files. So here we have to choose the module. How do we choose the module? We simply check uh, the name of the module, which apparently is FRM2E89CO9. Remember it, do not mess it up. So, CCC, CAS, and we gotta find the FRM, FRM2 E89 CO9. Then we got all options for that module. Here, for that job to change something on uh, our module or in our file, we go in into the metadata trace file. As you can see now, this one 5419704. So apparently it been just made. So we download that file. We go to the metadata trace file, only to the trace file. If you want to work manually with the actual uh, system, I'll show you how to do it. If somebody gonna get interested about it, uh, we can do that. 
uh, we also have FSW, PSW trace file. So that file got all the options. I will show you in a second which which options. The NCS dummy helps us to transfer all this raw data into the system which can help us to active or deactive code. Nick active means not enabled, uh, disabled, and active means enabled. So we basically uh, found our option check control notification for front fog light. Light fault notification. I don't really want it to have that on my dash, so I'm gonna put nicht active. So the same way you can turn off uh, any type of notification from the dashboard, just by uh, like finding the option here in NCS dummy and basically turning it off and that's it. So also if you wanna quickly find the actual code, you can simply type it up the name of it uh, by uh, tapping the control F and finding the actual row and then just simply change the option. So after we change our option, we go to the export metadata. We go export metadata dot man file. We just press it yes and it saved. So we can close the NCS dummy. And then we can go into the disk C NCS export work and look for the metadata dot man file which we made just a minute ago so we gotta get the name of it file okay guys to see the file name extension you have to hit the box here if you're using the windows 10 if you're using the uh, older version of the windows there is a a box here hide extension for known file types so you gotta change that and basically you're gonna see the extension of the files so this is really important because uh, basically uh, you definitely have to know which one file is which and sometimes you have to rename it and then close the folder so there was the folder with all files what we download from the car then we go to the basic function go to the copy code sg by metadata press ok and then our a we are asked for metadata file uh the name and it's supposed to be exact man file which we just saved we press ok and coding is starting we're waiting till uh, the sign we're gonna get signed for a basic function perfect ended. We press OK and we can close the NCS expert. And now we can check it out if our message is gonna be still on. So we stop the car, popping the key out. We still have the message in there. I'm probably gonna have to Okay, we open the car, cocking, popping key back, and starting the car. So let's check this out. Right from parking lot malfunction. So that sign uh, means my angel eye is not working, but the fog lamps are working. Let's press the fog lamps. No sign. They just working as fine as possibly could be. We get rid of the message. As you've seen, we can get rid of any message. Uh, and after that, you're gonna be free for messages on your dash whenever you pop in this key in there. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs button in there, hit it right in the center, and subscribe my channel, and leave me a comment below. If you wanna see some more stuff about coding, please leave me a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.